Hotep. This is Shakandugu Kemet. This presentation is called Allah is not written in pre-dynastic Nubia Temple of Ta. I'm going to show you a 20 second excerpt from a video that made a lot of groupies happy lately. And then I'm going to expose why it's wrong. You know the name of Allah is written Lim Lam Lam Asatel. This is this is Wolof. This is ancient Africa. This is Lim Lam Lam Asatel. This is Allah. Here's a close-up of the Medunetta. The gentleman talking is Padara Ndao. We're gonna get right into it. Medunetta is a more appropriate name for what is more commonly called hieroglyphs. They are numbered and the one that we uh, are looking at is uh, D37 okay now D37 is sound for G now if you go on the uh, Wikiversity uh, development of hi hieroglyphic writing it says D37 and D39 was a determinant meaning to offer D37 shows an arm and a hand offering a stylicized loaf of bread uh, for further reading you have R. H. Wilkinson reading Egyptian art 1992. You also have a picture of um, Tehutimes, uh, more commonly known as Thutmosis the third, showing offering, and um, this gesture is shown in D39. Now here's a bigger resolution of the picture. You also have a link to the website of the English Egyptologist Alan Gardiner. Is apparently the one who came up with the classification for the Medunetta, the hieroglyphs, if you will. And you can see that um, D37 means give to give, okay? Uh, if you can also check out hieroglyphs.net and you can see um, that you have the sign, the symbol for D37, and it means give, it's a verb. Now back to Wikipedia. Don't you worry, it's not my uh, primary sources, there, there will be others. <clears throat> you can see here the bread cone that's inside the palm of the the, the hand you have an extended arm and then uh, in the palm of the the end you have the the cone and that's the symbol that we are dealing with okay that that person earlier claimed uh, that means Allah okay you have a picture of the vessel for Pepi the first said festival if you look closely between the two arc in the bottom you can see the actual um, cone bread cone okay and talking about festival, if you check page 58 of the Per M. Heru, which is more uh, more commonly known as the Book of the Dead, uh, you have a translation of a few symbols uh, with the one that we're dealing with. And the translation is as follows. He is the giver of life from the beginning, which uh, makes sense according to what we saw earlier when he says that it means give, to give, okay? Every time I quote the Per M. Heru, the Book of the Dead, that's the, the edition that I'm talking about, okay. Uh, that one is, um, <coughs> it's actually called The Book of the Dead, Hieroglyphic Transcript and Translation into English of the Papyrus of Annie by Wallace Burge. Now, Wikimedia Commons, you also have um, the, the symbol that we're dealing with once again, and you have a translation, Given Life Like Ra. Now you can see the sign and the onk sign, which means life. Uh, you also have the <coughs> the disc, the solo disc, which most of the time uh, means Ra. So I suggest a symbol that I didn't know of means like, okay? And underneath you you have the same one, but you you only have the cone this time, not the actual all arm with the with the cone in in the palm. But it means the same thing. And now underneath you have three pictures, right? The first one is um, a fragment from uh, an Egyptian stele. Stella from the New Kingdom period. It was found uh, in ancient Ugarit. You, the second one, uh, I don't really know what it is because it looks like it's German or uh, some, some other language that I, I can't read. It says Maler, Maler der Krabkammer des Hege. But then, if you have a, that's a close up there, you, you can see the, the sign is, is about the, in the middle and you have the Ankh sign as well. So it probably means give life again, something like that. And then finally, the third picture is the one that, you know, uh, the groupies are rejoicing over. Now, that one is um, Menreb Ta, that makes an offering to the god Ta. And um, it's actually um, in a museum of archaeology and anthropology at the University of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay? Now, 
You remember earlier I showed you two examples where the symbol D37 was linked to festivals, right? Now here's one more. Now if you go to the website of the Museum of Archaeology of Ant Anthropology and Anthropology at the University of Pennsylvania, that's um, yeah. You go on, um, click on Exhibit and Collection, then go to Egypt, then go to Lower Egypt, the Palace of Meremta. Then um, if you do a search, you don't have to read all this. Do a search, Control F, put type in Festival and then that's what you're gonna have the palace which housed the king during religious festivals originally stood in the vicinity of the Menfit sanctuary of the god Ptah now that was a long way in case you wanna show it to uh, one of your friends just tell them to go on google and uh, type in lower egyptian gallery you click on the second link and then you have uh, it looks like an older page from the same website though and um, it says the the second sentence says the palace or originally stood in the vicinity of the sanctuary sanctuary of Ta at Memphis, where it housed the king during religious festivals. All right. Now let's deal with with examples of the symbol's actual meaning, since apparently it's supposed to mean Allah. Now go on Google and uh, type in "given life like Ra." That's the sentence that we had uh, as an example earlier. And uh, first thing that comes up is um, uponreflection.co.uk, and you you do have some uh, translations there. You have the symbols and then the the meaning. In the second line, you have uh, "May she be given life." You can see the onk, which means life. You have a symbol in the middle that I do not know, and then you have the the corn bread. Okay, uh, underneath, well, what I'm at it. The Medunetta can be uh, read from um, top to bottom, left to right, uh, or right to left, but never from the bottom to the top. And the way for you to know is to look at which the direction which um, the, the signs are, are are facing. Like in this case, you can see it's facing towards the right, so you, re you, you read it from right to left. And you have the, 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 the sign for Sa and then Ra, so that, that means Son of Ra. Now just underneath you have given life like Ra forever. Now you can see uh, the onk and then the, the corn bread uh, at the end. If you scroll down, you have another example and it's uh, given life. And you also, once again, have the onk and then the, the corn bread. Okay. And now um, I'm not uh, tempted to, to give you a lesson. I just want to make it plain and simple for the sake of my argument now. With the Meduneta, you have phonograms. There's three categories. You have the single sound or consonant, such as D21, and that's the sign for the uh, the letter R. You have two sounds or consonants, such as D28, and that's the sign for K. And you have three sounds or consonants, such as, as F35, and this one is for Nefer, that's NFR. And you, you also have ideograms, which are signs that represent what they mean. For example, uh, you have a man, so that means man, that's A1, and you have B1, which is a woman, so that means woman. Finally, you have determinatives, which give a general idea of the meaning of the word. Now, what's very strange to me is that Badara and Da breaks down one symbol, D37, which is spelled D or J, into Lif, Lam, Lam, A, Sakar. This is the original name of Allah. Lif. Lam Lam Ha Saker. Ha Saker Ha Saker means the Ha of the pyramid, and this is a right hand.